Hello, I'm going to make some carrot cake pancakes with a date and coconut caramel. It's a really rich and decadent recipe, but it's pretty simple as well. I'll leave the link to the recipe down below and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so the first thing we do is toast off the walnuts and this is for the maple salted walnuts, which are like a little sweet salty surprise that hide inside the pancakes. So we just add maple syrup to that and let it bubble away. And a nice hefty pinch of salt. So the base of the pancakes is buckwheat flour. And then we just add some spices and some baking powder to that. I'm using almond milk here, but feel free to use whatever plant milk you want. And then a nice hefty spoon of almond butter. You can use peanut butter as well. And some fresh lemon zest. And we're using the juice too. This recipe is actually from my book Dirt, so I'll make sure I um, put the link down below if you want to have a sauce of that. And then obviously we need the carrot for the carrot cake pancakes. And just add that to the batter along with the maple salted walnuts. And I always give them a little bit of a chop just before I add them up. And make sure that you leave some aside for garnish later on. And then just fold that all through. And if you find your batter is a bit too thick, just add another splash of milk. I like mine quite thick and cakey. Next we're taking the seeds out of some medjool dates. And absolutely feel free to use normal dates as well in this recipe, you just make sure you soak them in hot water. So for the liquid of the caramel, we use coconut cream, which makes it like super thick and luscious and rich. It's so yummy. And then some vanilla for flavoring, and we also add salt to this. And then we just blend it up. Super simple. And you can add a little splash of water as well just to thin it out if you need to. I definitely needed to. And then it should be thick. Thick and gooey. And it's a really versatile caramel. You can use it in kind of any sweet dish. Even spooned on oats is really good. And yeah, so we just fried the pancakes off in a little bit of coconut oil. Use about a couple of tablespoons per pancake. And then the fun part. I usually just stack them up and then add a big spoonful of the caramel. And then optional, but I really like adding some coconut yogurt on top of this just to kind of cut through the richness. And then a little zest of orange and lemon for some freshness. And then the walnuts. And there she is in all her glory. It's so yummy. It's like a really good weekend brunch recipe. I really hope you make it.